That's it! I know what we're gonna do today! We're gonna- Violate the 1967 Space Weapons Treaty. What's up, Juden Jujets? It's Dudley, and today we're violating international laws and treaties regarding the weaponization of space installation. Now, you might be thinking, okay, Dudley, what are we actually doing in this video? And I'm serious. No, we are actually going to put weapons in space, and we're going to fire them off. Now, we're using 14 Rovi's imaginary weapons pack to do this. This is not base game. This is modded. There are not weapons in Simple Rockets 2 stock, so you're going to not be able to do this on mobile. But if you have a PC and you want to do this, you can download 14 Rovi's weapons pack. And one of the weapons included is a laser. Now we're going to crank the power of this laser all the way up. And we're going to put four of them on this satellite. And I think what we're going to do is throw the satellite into a low drew orbit. And then target the space center where we launched. And put, a, put another craft down. We'll do uh, like an airplane on the runway. And we're going to fire the lasers off and see if we can hit the runway and destroy the aircraft. Now, realistically, lasers aren't quite as destructive as this mod makes them out to be, and a lot of science fiction media makes them out to be. Lasers are very power-intensive, and they don't do as much damage as regular kinetic weapons. But there are a lot of advantages to using a laser weapon system for very specific applications. Uh, lasers obviously travel at the speed of light, so your time to target is as high as it's going to get, which is really useful for tracking very fast-moving targets like missiles. The U.S. Navy is actually working on and has installed naval laser defense systems on a few of its ships as a trial run, and the goal of these weapon systems is not to attack other ships, but it's actually a defensive laser system that shoots down incoming missiles and projectiles, and they've proven to be very effective. Now, for this sort of application where we're putting lasers on a space station and firing them from orbit down to the surface, would that work? No, it would not. The laser beam would heat up the atmosphere and lose a lot of its energy just getting to the ground. By the time it actually got to the ground, it would be most likely out of focus and attenuated enough in the atmosphere to lose any of its real lethality. Now, before we go on with this video, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you guys for getting me to 500 subs. And because I'm at 500 subs now, I said a while back that I would do a face reveal when I hit 500 subs. So, so yeah, this is what I look like. I'm a white guy, college student, not much to look at here. Uh, but yeah, this is what my face looks like. I'll actually be doing some webcams in my videos from this point forward. Um, now that the channel's gotten a little bit bigger and I'm a little bit more comfortable with the production and the software that I'm using so uh, you're gonna see a little bit more of me in the future and uh, hopefully you can tolerate my eh, less than a attractive face but yeah other than the 500 subscriber benchmark I don't really have a whole lot to say in this video um, the build was pretty straightforward I'm not doing anything like radical or new with the design um, it's all kind of old tropes that I've been using in a lot of my rockets for a while now so there's nothing remarkable there uh, the mission went well and you know, there wasn't any huge issues, and the beams worked very nicely. So I think I'll just let you guys watch the rest of the mission and fast forward and uh, play some music in the background. Cheers. Cheers. 